Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw two tangent circles with the given radius R3, two, two given circles with center points O1 and O2, as can be seen here on the screen. Both these solutions are going to be externally tangent to circle O1 and internally tangent to circle O2. So the first step is going to be to draw a radius from the center point O1 and elongate it as shown here on the screen. So now with the compass, we are going to transport the measurement of the given radius R3 onto this line, starting from where the elongation cuts the circumference of the circle O1. getting a new point, which we will call P. We will get a new radius, which is going to be R1 plus R3. We remember that for circles to be externally tangent to each other, their center points must be located at a distance equal to the sum of their radii, which is why we added these two radii, R1 plus R3, to satisfy this rule. So the next step is to draw this auxiliary circle centering the compass on center point O1 and with a radius R1 plus R3 we draw the circle as shown here on the screen. And the second condition we want to do today is to draw the circle that we want to draw must be internally tangent to the second circle O2. So to do this, we start by subtracting the radius R3 from, or the radius R2 from radius R3. So with the compass setting it to the length of radius R2, we are going to transport it onto the given radius R3, as can be seen here, obtaining the difference between both magnitudes. So now setting the compass to this new length R3 minus R2, we are going to construct a new circle centered on the point O2. And this new circle satisfies the second condition, which is that for some circles to be internally tangent to each other, their center points must be located at a distance equal to the subtraction of their radii. And where these two new auxiliary circles intersect, we can find the center points O3 and O4 of the two new circles that we are looking to draw. So before we draw these two new circles, we're going to find the points of tangency. So to do this, we have to join center points O1 with center points O3. And also center point O1 with center point O4. And where these two lines intersect the circumference of the circle O1, we get two new points of tangency, which we will call T, as can be seen here on the screen. And now to get the other two points of tangency, we have to join O4 with O2 and elongate it until it cuts the circumference at the other side of the circle O2 as can be seen here on the screen. And now we are going to repeat this process, joining point O3 with point O2, O2 and elongating it again until it cuts the circumference of the circle O2, O2, obtaining the two new tangent points, T, as shown here. So the final step is to draw the two tangent circles. So setting the compass to the given radius R3, and centering the compass on point O, center point O3, we draw the first tangent circle in a thicker line. And now with the same radius and setting the compass on center point O4, 
we will draw the second tangent circle again in a thicker line as can be seen here on the screen. As you can see here, both circles are externally tangent to circle O1 and internally tangent to circle O2. And if you have been working with precision and accuracy, you will see that both circles pass through the four tangent points that we have just located. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by pressing the super thanks button. So until the next video, thank you very much.